These are the things you should never do with your Facebook ads because it's just gonna piss off Facebook and your customers. Now, if you do use these sort of hacks that piss off Facebook, there is ways to do it, but you have to do it creatively, smart, and make sure you're not sleazy about it so you could get away with it and you can get pretty good results doing so. 83% of social media users, if given the chance, they would say no to ads if they have the ability to turn off ads. Now the question is, do consumers and customers really hate ads nowadays? That's the main question. Now, they don't hate all ads, they just hate the bad ones. 77% of consumers agree that they filter out ads but they don't all block every single ads, they just wanna filter them, whether it's they, they're happy with YouTube ads, they don't have an ad blocker for that, but when it comes to Facebook, they just hate Facebook ads or Twitter ads. Sometimes a lot of people are actually happy with Twitter ads. Now the question is, what are the top five things that make a bad ad? What pisses consumers off the most? And of course, what does it take to make sure your customers don't get fed up with your ads and actually enjoy watching your ads? Let the countdown begin. Now, as always, all I ask, because we put in a lot of effort to film these value packed videos, please hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, let me know all your thoughts and feedback. I'd love to hear them and that's all we ask for. Number six, people hate trickster ads. People hate ads that tell you one thing, but when you click on it, it's a completely different product. People completely hate those ads. 15% of people said the ad tricked me into clicking it. Number five, dumb ads. Trickster ads. 60% of customers said that most ads they see these days are insulting to their intelligence. So definitely don't think that the consumer is stupid. So if you think dumb and trickster ads are already annoying, what could be even more annoying than those things? Four, ads that just look bad, horrible looking bad with weird font, weird collages, and the ads are just horrible. People hate bad ads in general. 63% of people say that most ads don't look polished or professional and they just look bad. Most people, when they're scrolling through Facebook, they're crashing like, dude, like you're not gonna sell me on this bad looking ad. Like if you want to sell me on a product, at least give me a good ad and a good product to look at. Now what is even worse than this? Number three, customers hate retargeting apparently. They hate being tracked and followed. That really pisses them off. Now, I'm a fan of retargeting and I'm guilty of this. I use a lot of retargeting because I know it takes 30 times for someone to really convert. But 79% of customers do feel like they're being trapped and they don't like that feeling because 34% of clicks are actually mistakes. Like 34% of people who are clicking on the product is just on accident and they're not really interested in it and they don't want to be retargeted for this product they don't want. And another 15% of people say, that the initial ad, they were tricked into clicking it and now they're in the retargeting funnel. One third of these ad clicks are accidental and now they're feeling, hey, why am I being retargeted and followed and tracked everywhere? I only accidentally clicked on this ad. We all hate that feeling of someone spying on us and someone following us. It's just not a good feeling. But what is worse than this? Before we get into the final two, please hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, give us your thoughts, like this video, that's all I ask for. Please hit the subscribe button because we're giving free courses and consulting courses to subscribers every single day. So hit the subscribe button. Top two, in your face and intrusive ads. 84 to 85% of people agree that these obnoxious in your face ads gives a bad reputable image and poor opinion to the brands that are being advertised. Like when you see some ad, it's like, stop, don't hit the skip button. Research shows that these type of ads gives that type of person a bad rep and bad image. Now we're getting down to our most annoying ad factor. This is something that you really wanna keep at the back of your mind to make sure that your audience and customers will not get annoyed at your ads. Before we review the last one, please hit the subscribe button, like this video if you haven't, Please just do that, that's all I ever ask. These videos are done for free. They're free content for you guys. That's the least that I can ask for. Number one, intrusive pop-up ads. People hate going to a website and getting a pop-up ad that's just spammy. They hate clicking on a link that leads them to some ad where you have to wait five seconds before you can skip the ad. People hate 
pop-up ads, they're the worst. 89% of people agree that they hate those pop-up ads, even though it's simple X to cross them out, it's just so annoying and so intrusive and it's like, yo, I did not ask for this thing to pop up in my face. Please go away. That is the worst thing ever. Now, what does it take to not drive customers away? When running social media ads, you wanna focus on organic posts and promoted posts. And you wanna make content that doesn't seem to spam me, that lives in the newsfeed, that blends into the newsfeed, that people can't even tell is an ad. Those are the type of ads that you wanna focus on creating. So let's do a recap on the six most annoying factors that people hate about ads. Six, trickster ads. Five, dumb ads. Four, poorly designed ads. Three, retargeting. Two, intrusive ads. And one, annoying pop-up ads. Now, watch out for our next video where we'll be talking about the age of ad blocking and how to go ahead and prevent ad blocking from affecting your business. Now, let's go ahead and announce last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses, a consulting course of me. The winner's here. If you guys want to qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Like this video, and we'll be picking the best comment every single video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button and the like button. I really appreciate your time and effort and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hopefully you're able to gain some value and this is a content I wish for when I was starting up. So yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.